Hello everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. Welcome back. Um, we have moved past Halloween and we are now well on our way to Thanksgiving here in the United States. Or if you're everywhere else, just happy fall. <laughs> um, this is our project today. And right before we get started, I'm actually gonna do a couple of housekeeping things. If you guys are in the state of Arizona and specifically in the city of Phoenix, I am getting ready to host all of my holiday classes. Um, the big one that is coming up is 20 cards. And what that is, is you stamp a stack 20 cards and they're not involved or they're not very, um, what's the word I wanna use? They're not very detail oriented, they're very simplistic. Um, but it's for those people that you need to get a whole lot done, very short amount of time. Uh, today is November, I believe, 3rd. <laughs> The deadline for signing up and prepaying for that class is November 14th. So if you are interested, I'm going to put my email address in the description bar below. Go ahead and send me an email and I will send you the details. Again, if you live in Phoenix um, or the surrounding areas, suburbs, I live in North Phoenix, um, and you're interested in coming, please let me know. That class will be the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So I believe that's the 25th. Don't quote me on that. I might actually put it on the screen somewhere. Um, but there we go. All right, back to our project today. Woohoo, this is our project and it is a treat holder. And inside our little envelope thing is actually like little mini um, Harbo's gummy bears, mostly because I love gummy bears. I originally thought um, a pack of Tromix would fit in here. Really cute, really sweet, good fall thing to do. Um, I didn't have any Tromix in the house. So I went with Harbo gummy bears. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What are you going to need? First and foremost, you are going to need a five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. If you guys hear my dog kind of like growling, snoring in the background, it's kind of hysterical, by the way. <laughs> um, this piece of paper here, I think is actually gorgeous. It came from this little six by six cardstock pack. Um, I got it at Target last year, but I did see some in a couple of the Target stores this year. It was like two bucks for 12 sheets and they're actually really nice and thick and heavy duty. Next, your envelope punch board. Um, I love this thing. I think this thing is really great for, I think I've made everything on it, but actual envelopes. <laughs> Just to let you guys know. So if you look at the bottom of your envelope thing, it says card size, we want a three by three size. So the square that it's gonna make is like three and eighth by three and eighth, that's fine. Um, you need five and a quarter inch piece of paper and it's going to tell you to punch it two and five eighths. And so that's what actually exactly what we're going to do. We're going to come here and punch and score. And then you can just follow the lines all the way around. Um, since it's making a square, you don't really have to worry about following the lines. You can actually just follow two and five eighths, but the lines sometimes are just as easy. Uh, this paper is very thick. It is truly cardstock. It's very heavy. <laughs> um, very thick. Now I'm going to quickly round the back corners as well. There we go. I at one point in time jammed something in here and so it doesn't always look to round for me very well. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. As I said, there it goes. I at one point in time jammed something in there. Your extra little pieces, you don't really need them. Go ahead and slide those off to the side. You're done with your envelope punch board. However, I'm gonna keep my bone folder out for a second. Gently fold your edges. This cardstock has this embossed foil into it, so that's why I think it's so pretty. Very simplistic project, anybody can do it. All right, so there you go. Set this off to the side. We're gonna grab in just, you really only need about a two and a quarter by two and a quarter scrap piece of very vanilla. I didn't actually have a scrap piece of very vanilla, so I'm just using this piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and I'm grabbing soft suede. And soft suede is a really awesome color. It's great for fall, especially this year. And I'm actually going to stamp off once Get some of this extra stuff out of my way. My desk is covered. Okay, what stamp set are we using? We are going to be using the Acorny Thank You For You. This is a retired stamp set. I'm gonna use the Grateful For You, and then I'm actually gonna take two. So I took the bottom acorn piece here, 
and I think it was, I'm doing the same one I did in my first one. Um, I'm taking like that crisscrossed argyle, I guess I'm going to call it, one right there. I'm going to do it all in the same color, but we're going to stamp off one of them. So I just mounted it on a block. I picked two sides because I was lazy. Um, ink up your stamp. My soft weight is extremely inky. I'm going to stamp off once. Sorry, I'm doing this on a piece of paper. Um, and then straight down, straight up. Gives it a little two-tonal effect here. I'm going to go full force on, do not stamp off on the second one. I wanted a two-toned effect. Nice thing about them being, wow, that got up there really far. <laughs> um, the nice thing about them being um, clear stamps is that you can really see them. Now you want to go as close to the tip of the acorn as you possibly can with your grateful for you. If you put this in a bigger circle, i.e. a two and a half or a two and a quarter, um, you don't have to go quite as close. But I wanted to keep it kind of small. So there we go. You're all done with your ink and all your stamping. I grabbed the two inch circle punch. I believe this one's actually retired. Your um, circle framelit dies also do the same thing. Your two and a half inch circle punch will do the same thing. You don't have to get it quite as close together and you won't chop off the tip of your acorn either, but I didn't really care. So I just went ahead and made sure I got it all in there or as much of it as I possibly could. Popped it out. Okay, that's all done. Now in my original, you're gonna see, I put it on a little tag. And my tag is made from this Gingham Signature Collection paper pad from Creative Imaginations. This piece measures one and a quarter inches wide by three and a quarter inches tall. I originally started with a much larger piece and decided it was too big. So I'm gonna pen it the inside. You can either stick this in your triple banner punch or you can do it like I'm going to and just do it by hand. Um, aim for the center, which I wasn't quite in the center. And then I just cut up from side to side. Real easy pendant. You don't actually need a punch for that. I'm gonna do the same thing to this. Now this piece of paper here is actually just the scrap from the top of this piece of paper that, or in some cases, this piece of paper that we used to create it. And it's about a quarter inch wide. Hmm, how long is this? Uh, two and three quarter inches long. And I'm actually gonna cut that down. So I'm actually gonna pen at the end first. Where I wanted it, that's actually not the center. So we're gonna aim for the center here. There we go. Pen at the ends, just like I did with the other piece. This is just to give a little added extra oomph to your project. Um, you know, actually I'm gonna leave it nice and wide and off to the side. So this one I did cut down, I trimmed down by about half an inch. This one I'm gonna leave to see if I like it. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to attach that to our tag down kind of sort of close to the bottom there. Last but not least, turn this over. I grabbed two dimensionals just for, I like two. Uh, I didn't like saggies. So I put two on, get the backs off. And I like to pop it on there, right about there going to grab a hole punch. This one is one eighth or one quarter. I think this is actually one eighth. One quarter might actually work a little better to be honest with you, but I can't find mine. So we're going with one eighth anyways. Um, just kind of aim for the center of the top of each one of these nubs. As you guys can tell, I am not perfect by any means. Sorry, I'll make sure I'm actually in camera range this time. Do all four of those. And then again, aim for the center of your tag here. Now, I'm going to tie this all together with some, this is, I call this chocolate brown taffeta ribbon. Um, it's actually made of paper, paper raffeta taffeta. Mom, somebody tell me how that's actually said. Um, but here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna take the harbos, I'm gonna stick them on the inside. 
I love Me Harbo's. I can't believe I'm actually packaging these things up. I'd rather just eat them. Um, and how I did it was I left myself plenty and this nice long strip came in a strip, but you really don't need more than about 16 inches to be honest with you. Um, so I went through the hole, came back out, down, around. And as you're going, make sure you pull it tight. So kind of, as I said, the quarter inch might work a little bit better due to the fact that it will slide a little bit easier for you. So if you pull it as you go, you don't have as many problems um, getting everything combined together. Then I come back out and I go back down in. <laughs> And it just kind of folds up like that. It gives like this nice little domed effect to it. Now I did tie my first one in the knot before I added the tag, just for ease of use. All right, so there we go. Then I added my tag on. So slide your tag in. As I said, quarter inch might work a little bit better for you guys, um, but I couldn't find mine, so I went with an eighth and it works. Um, any other, like your twine would work, like just your Stampin' Up! twine would work as well. Oops, go the other way. Now I'm tying mine in a bow. You can also do yours in a knot if you would like. But let's get it all the way through. There we go. Pull this one down just a little bit. I'm going to make this bow just a little bit bigger just to see if I like it a little bit more with longer tails. We're going to find out. Longer tails, even tails. Trim that off. All right, and there we go. There is my really fun, fast, easy Thanksgiving table place treat holder for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment in the description bar, send me an email, whichever you guys would like. Uh, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoction saying thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.